Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, September 9th, 2022. Well, yesterday we finally, boy, right at the end of the day, and it came in right at the end of the day, there was quite a bull bear fight going on. It was a knockdown, drag out battle that I was watching in the futures market, but we finally pushed through right at the end of the day with a big surge. And now this morning we're gapping higher. And I got to tell you, I am so glad to see uh, that moving up here this morning. And I'll explain that in just a second, but let's um, settle in. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, yesterday was a nice little rally in the market, and we're following through today. That's a wonderful thing to see. Unfortunately, we still have a lot of concerns here to deal with um, overall in these indexes, and I think everyone is kind of sitting on the edge of their seat. Can the bulls actually push on through with some of the data um, coming our way, um, or or will we find some resistance in these charts and um, and have a disappointment um, uh, coming our direction here soon? If you look at some of the major players out there in you know um, in the markets, they are very bearish um, overall on the market. And as you can see here, we still have this downtrend in play. And as we're rallying up, you know, we were struggling and struggling and struggling yesterday. I thought my goodness, we may not even get up through this area um, right here because we were getting these big whipsaws in the futures where there would just be a pounding down um, um, uh, really fast moves. Um, and I thought, well, uh, so I nibbled just a little bit on some puts yesterday. But um, and I'm going to be down on those this morning. But honestly, it's such a small position. I'm, I'm literally happy that we're moving on to the upside because I think if we move up into this area here, that's what I'd like to see. That really sets up some good quality um, um, short trades in the market. Now, it is also possible that we run into this little resistance area in the chart right here. So keep an eye on that. The fact that we're gapping this morning, leaving a window behind does leave me a little bit of concern in the market, particularly on such a dead day in the market where there really isn't much going on on the economic calendar or earnings calendar. And we do know that the FOMC is looking pretty hawkish um, moving forward here. So let's watch these resistance levels in the chart pretty carefully for that possibility that we could catch that pop and drop on the day. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Now our technicals as we're pushing up, we want to make note that we are finally popping above that eight exponential but we have that 50 day moving average to provide some resistance. And notice that that 34 EMA, well, it's right there. Um, so we're building that um, not only price action resistance, but pretty substantial technical resistance in the chart as well. If we were to take a look at our SPY, SPY, very similar situation. We were struggling really hard with that high candle right there, um, troubled, tr trying hard to break out. And then just right at the end of the day, we had this massive surge up in um, um, the SPY and that's pushing us through on today. Now also helping this is, is we had um, um, Asian markets push up pretty substantially um, during the night and European markets despite the death of the Queen are um, looking bullish here this morning so we're getting a little bit of that follow through and I did see Bank of England is kind of um, backing away just a little bit. They're coming out with a, a, a huge package, a uh, spending package um, to try and help on the um, uh, fuel situation, energy situation over there. Now there's still, um, there's still a lot of uncertainty 
um, as to how in the world they're going to pay for it. But and there's a lot of questions being asked yet. But um, at least we've got that bullishness going on here and in places around the world. And that's kind of nice to see. But let's take a look. If we push on higher here, notice we're going to run into a substantial area of price resistance. And not only that, this downtrend right in here could also come into play. So once again, we've got that that um, area here in the chart we're gonna, where we're going to be running into all of these different resistance areas in the chart that um, maybe set us up for that potential of the pop and drop on the day. And if we take a look at um, our moving averages here, this will be a gap above the 50 day moving average. So we'll see once again, sometimes we get a little bit carried away here. We could push too hard too fast and then we get that bearish reaction that comes back in and it and sometimes comes back in with a vengeance. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ has had lots of trouble and, and, and largely because um, valuations have been way too high here in the NASDAQ. And then also um, bonds have been creating a significant problem. Those bond yields creating a significant problem for the NASDAQ. And if we'll take a look right in here, let me grab a line and drop that in here. We're pushing up right into this area. And this is a fairly significant um, area of resistance in the chart. Now, if we can push through that, then we might see us come up here and this is a much more substantial um, resistance area um, in the NASDAQ. So watch these areas closely. I think I would be watching this area right in here pretty, pretty closely. Um, we know that we've got this overall downtrend um, still in play in the, in the market um, on the QQQ and um, this shorter term downtrend is certainly still in play. So we'll want to watch that close. And then our um, 50 day moving average is still a little bit above here in um, the QQQ. And notice that our 34 EMA and 20 EMA are, are pushing down pretty solidly here. Um, we'll want to watch that. And remember, I talked about this yesterday, one of my favorite shorting patterns um, in the market is a failure through the 50, a rally back to test that area as resistance. And then I'd be looking for any kind of hint of failure. And that would be the short that I would be looking for um, in these charts. Can't say that that's going to happen, but I will be watching that pretty carefully. And another thing to take note of here in the QQQ, notice our 200 day moving average is crossing down through the 500 day moving average. Um, that does not make for a bullish chart. If we take a look at our um, IWM, the Russell, IWM was really one of the stronger of the of the stocks yesterday pushing up and notice we tested that big black candle right there um, at the close and now we're gapping above now as we look above here in the chart you want to notice there is a very significant level of price resistance there in IWM that we'll have to deal with and unfortunately that um, also corresponds to this downtrend so here again we're getting these um, resistance areas starting to build upon themselves here in um, IWM. And I do think we want to watch for that potential pop and drop. But on the good side here in IWM, notice that IWM broke back above this uh, trend break here. So we, we've rallied back to hold above that area. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our vi whoops. Better get the VIX here first. Um, the VIX pulled back nicely yesterday. And um, as I was talking it yesterday, um, we still hadn't been able to really break this uh, trend. We did right at the end of the day on that surge to the upside, right at the end of the day when the dark pool activity kind of consolidated to the market. But as you can see right in here, pushing just down below that, that trend break, which is a good thing to see, but we're still resting right in here in this zone of that price support in that chart. Let me draw a nice straight line across there. That might help you see that a little bit better. A um, little bit of price support right in there. We'll see if that holds with the gap up this morning, I suspect that, that will decline pretty sharply here on that break. But once again, 
I think we have to be thinking or watching for that possibility of a pop and drop because there really isn't a whole lot of inspiration here in the market to um, to continue to surge. Now, maybe it's that vacuum of no data out there and maybe the distraction. I think we're probably going to see a substantial distraction today where everyone is going to be watching um, television and watching the the um, processions and things that are uh, going on over there um, due to the death of Queen Elizabeth. But um, keep a close eye on that. I think there is that outside chance of that pop and drop possibility here in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2122, T2122, this is why I really wanted to see more upside in the market. Notice that we struggled enough yesterday on our T2122. We hooked up here at the top. Um, this was a real back and forth battle here yesterday. And now this morning, we're going to gap this higher and move up. So what I'm hoping we will see is that T2122 is pushing up into these areas of the market or even higher because that sets up, um, gives me more confidence for um, those potential short trades in the market. So you'll want to keep an eye on that possibility as we stretch back to the upside. And and test those resistance and technical levels in the charts. Our T2108 at the end of the day, again, that surge right at the end of the day helped quite a bit, but we do have to kind of keep in mind and keep this in perspective. 38% um, of the stocks are holding above their 40 day moving average, which does not make for a bullish case just yet. We had broken that trend. Uh, keep in mind, we've got lots of price congestion in here on this chart. It's wonderful to see the relief rally, but at the same time, we have to question it very carefully with the things that we are seeing with the weakening economies around the world, um, um, including ours. Um, we've got to be a little bit careful about not getting too um, wild and crazy about chasing heavily into some long positions here. And then if we take a look at our T2107, similar situation um, here, in, um, nice little pop up right at the end of the day. Notice that we um, have, have not um, really recovered um, this downtrend break, but we're close to it. We did hold this price support, so I gotta give that up to the bulls. Um, and then we'll still have price resistance levels here in the chart that we'll want to be watching. But once again, 28% of the stocks holding above the 200 day, that's a pretty tough bullish case. Those will improve this morning on the, on the gap up, but um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure that's um, all that fantastic. Um, if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 continuing to show that momentum is with the bulls at the moment. So we're pushing this back down and that's good to see. And believe me, although I'm holding some short positions and I'll be down on those this morning, I am tickled to death to see that we're getting a little bit more of a relief rally in the market because I do think that sets up better shorting opportunities um, here in the near future. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar doesn't have much of anything on it except some more Fed speak. Um, we've got, um, you know, the EU's emergency uh, meeting coming up here. Um, we've got um, Charles Evans. We've got a wholesale inventories. This is a preliminary, so I don't know. You know, inventories have been creeping up for retailers. We know that, but I don't know that that's going to be uh, majorly market moving because it is a preliminary. We've got um, Waller speaking and then we've got uh, George speaking as well today. Um, Baker Hughes rig count I don't think is going to move us around at all. So we've got a really dead day on that economic calendar. So we'll be thinking more about what comes next um, in this market when we start getting CPI and PPI and numbers like that heading into the FOMC. 
um, oh, and GDP. Um, so let's take a look at the earnings calendar. Unfortunately, the earnings calendar isn't much better either. Um, we have very little going on on the earnings calendar here today um, and really no major notables. Um, we've got a WDH um, reporting a dollar 26 stock um, don't think that's going to be a market mover um, <laughs> ABM um, reporting this morning getting a little bit of a boost here we've got Kroger probably our no most notable of the day it looks like um, it's really not done much of anything here so far this morning in the pre-market just kind of bouncing up a little tiny bit and then we've got some little tiny um, two two little tiny um, um small caps that you know uh, that trade almost very little volume so not much going on here to inspire the market at all let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today um, but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please also click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments that helps the channel to continue to grow and i do truly truly appreciate it i know i've been kind of remiss at getting um, uh, much other content out there besides um, the morning prep video just been so darn busy this summer but um, i think that's going to change and i've saved a lot of the videos that um, e-learnings and things that i've been doing um, i will be getting to those soon editing them so watch the channel you might see some videos popping up um, uh, more training type videos out there for everyone and i just want to say thanks so much to everyone supporting the channel the, the comments on the channel you guys are truly awesome i i, I really appreciate it um so thank you very much let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up today and please keep in mind guys these are not uh, recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact i want you to do your own due diligence always 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 pay very very close attention to the risk of every trade make sure it fits your personal trading guidelines and um, your risk everyone should understand the why of the trade and you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas well first off i'm going to start with a little bit of um, energy alternative energy um, here in the market because we had some really nice patterns showing up yesterday take a look at ura um, as you guys know i've been talking about ura here for a while nice little chart uh, pushing through and yesterday got a little morning star type pattern here um, in the chart and really pushed up yesterday now we do have to keep in mind that there is some price resistance here in the chart and um, I would expect that price resistance will do its job either will either it'll push the stock back down or we'll pop through and then we'll look to see if it holds a support but if you got into this yesterday and you guys know I've been talking about this every day for a while pretty nice looking chart looking good take a look at you 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 that is a really pretty setup right there little morning star pattern right off of price support trying to extend up here this morning um, keep a close eye on that one and you probably all know because i repeat this over and over uh, my bias here on ccj because i'm in it on ccj this continues to extend and um, i've even re revealed to everyone that my position in here is i'm long the 22 strike um, um, option strike and I'm short the 31 now I'm running that situation where my 31 could get me called away which would be perfect I would love that um, have someone pay me to sell the stock to them at a higher price that's a perfect situation for me and then I'll look for the next entry into the trade if I do get called away but watch that carefully some of these uranium plays are looking very very strong as the world starts worrying uh, wondering and worrying what are we going to do 
um, about power um, as we see California running brownouts and and issues all around the world with power supply. So watch that carefully. Other places, and you guys know I've been talking about Plug Power. Now Plug is a position that I hold as a long-term um, trade, um, a long-term position. And what we've seen here recently is Plug has made two major deals here recently, supplying equipment and hydrogen to um, Amazon and Walmart. And um, we're seeing some nice, um, nice price action moves in here. Now, albeit, we've got quite a little bit of price resistance in the chart. So I'm not sure that this would be ready. This, this would not be a swing trade yet for me. Um, and not ready for prime time just yet. But if we could pop through some of that resistance up here and then hold, then I think um, probably a pretty good opportunity. So keep an eye on some of those. Um, also, um, you've got to look into that solar space. Um, um, we've got First Solar, and I've been talking about this one for quite some time now, too. Um, started talking about it over in here, and we just keep stretching to the upside. Now, I don't think I'd want to chase this to the upside right now, but any rest or pullback um, could be a setup for a position or a trade. As you guys know, I've talked and talked and talked about BJs. Um, you can see right in here, this is... Um, my initial alert in that trade and that continues to work and extend to the upside and um, what we have seen is some pretty good moves also in some of the bigger retail out there take a look at target now target right now is one of my um, one of the better of the charts I think um, crossing back through this price resistance in the chart um, a rest or pullback in here at any point in time if this has to continue to extend on it before it rests or pullback uh, fine but look for that next little resting pullback in there to see if it can hold support um, on that um, stock uh, target looking pretty good we've seen Walmart looking uh, pretty good moving up uh, not as stellar in my opinion because we've got this um, resistance area in here but it is trying to peak out here this morning we'll watch that close if that pops out and holds then by all means there's your trade there's your upside trend um, keep an eye on Walmart if that can keep moving along to the upside so watch that closely um, other places in the market you know there's um, big um, big moves in like um, Ulta Beauty, oh my goodness, this thing took off like a rocket ship um, yesterday and continuing to break. So new um, new highs here in Ultra Beauty. Might want to keep an eye on those kind of stocks. Um, and W pushing back up here, Paul Alto. So watch that broke through this resistance on that earnings report, popped up, pulled back, and now is perking back up here in the chart. I've been watching this one kind of closely into this support area. Now, keeping in mind, we got a little bit of a downtrend here that we still need to defeat um, in that chart. So watch it close, but we're seeing a lot of those stocks right now trying to push up into those resistance areas and may have that opportunity that they can pop through and hold. So keep an eye on those. So because I'm running this video just a little bit longer than normal, I want to say thank you everyone. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much for the support to the channel. You guys are truly awesome. Um, and I want to wish you all a profitable day and a wonderful weekend ahead. Everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the very, very best. Take care.